Welcome. Thanks for joining us. My name is Brent Joyce. I'm the Chief Investment Strategist for BMO Private Investment Council. Every month I write a global monthly commentary and this is part of a new series where I'm going to share with you the three key takeaways for the month. July saw global equity markets advance, embracing the notion of a soft landing, one where the global economy continues to be resilient, but inflation comes down, the so-called Goldilocks scenario, not too hot, not too cold. North American economies are particularly resilient, and inflation is falling faster than anticipated. Europe is sluggish, and inflation remains stubborn, but China, also sluggish, is on the precipice of potentially deflation. U.S., Canadian, and European central banks all continued to raise interest rates in the month of July, despite signs that inflation is cooling, particularly in North America. With some signs that growth is weakening, we expect that all three of those central banks are finished their rate hiking campaign for this cycle. The elevated bond yields as a result of those interest rate hikes are at the upper end of their range that they've been in over the past year. This provides good strong running yield through our fixed income portfolios and a safety buffer should the economy slow down, those fixed income positions will provide a level of safety that we can rely on. We've had many conversations over the month about the extent of the equity market rally, particularly select U.S. equity markets. When the outcomes are improving and the soft landing scenario is coming more into focus, it's normal for equity markets to price that in. Many might be asking, has it gone too far? Is it too good to be true? When we look at the historical record, the movement that we've seen in U.S. equity markets so far from the lows of last year and through 2023 is not unusual, nor should it be overly surprising. Of course, there's always the, well, it's different this time. And clients have pointed out that interest rates have moved up aggressively. Here too, the historical record is clear. U.S. stocks have been able to fare reasonably well after the last Federal Reserve rate hike with an average return 250 days post the final hike of over 12%. The bottom line is equity markets are doing what equity markets often do, and the overwhelming evidence is that they go up over long periods of time. Thank you for joining us, and we look forward to seeing you next month.